a hello people gonna welcome to the encountment series if you know you know yes remember to subscribe to the channel as they click we are on youtube we are on facebook we are on instagram you can also find us on thread and tiktok the big news over the weekend chatawali stone boy this is the real truth rise above the noise not the noise yes listen to the dean of students dam shamantin what exactly transpired and where the pitfalls i mean who are to be blamed for what exactly happens forget about all the noise shatawali is making on social media they amount to nothing this is the real story i always say it if you have been to university of ghana Lake, Lagon, or you've been a student of the University of Ghana Lagon, you know one thing about them. They never bend the rule to fit anybody. They are laid down procedure irrespective of who you are. Remember the issue about Samini wanting to use pass, pass to compost and go to Gimpa, and he was denied because he was not having his access card with him. Yes, they won't patch it just because you are a star or just because who. Oh, we need to bend the rule to fit you. That's all. So, and I think Chetawali need to get to this stage where you have to realize it. he's allotting too much power to Stone Boys more than he deserves. He's allotting too much power to Stone Boy more than Stone Boy deserves. Stone Boy called Provost to tell him to cancel a, a reunion reef really. Like who is Stone Boy to call University of Ghana to tell them what to do? Be that as it may. This is the real to listen to exactly what happens and what transpired for the cancellation of TF Reunion Reef. Not what is in the news or on social media, agenda on social media. But one person I'm really disappointed in. I'll tell you who I'm really disappointed in. Let's watch. Oh, let's listen to these voice clippings. Thanks so much to Radio Universe. That um, approval had been given for the artist night for James Top Nelson Hall, and it is not true. Normally, what happens is that um, if any event is going to be organized in any hall, uh, a request for approval is sent to my office with a, um, an outline of the programs that they intend to um, organize. And what they said they were going to do on Saturday was a karaoke night. And so we gave approval for a karaoke night. And as far as I am concerned, there's a big difference between a karaoke night and an artist night you know when you are having an artist night it comes with a lot of implications security and all that and so we need to ensure that there's enough security that's why you need approval from university authorities before you can organize an artist night mind you there's still a ban in place for gatherings student gatherings and processions so you cannot just get up and say you are bringing in an artist such as Shatawale to the University of Ghana campus without the adequate and necessary arrangements being made on the ground and also without approval. So they did not have approval for an artist night. Oh, this nice interview and this clarification from Mrs. or Ms. Chamantin, the dean of students. Well, so much appreciation to Radio Universe for that interview. But my most disappointment goes to Rasami. Rasami is one of, he has been one of the pillars behind this particular channel that I am on SJ TV here. He gave us advice, our way forward. But I think Rasami is dropping the balls along the line. The Rasami I know, I mean some place. I know, always hold high standards to start. For him to be on the phone and say because of the other camp, they are not allowing them to do their show, really, Brasami, 